they say it takes about one day per time zone traveled to get over your jet lag. Now, the effects of jet lag are interesting. There will be a point at night where a wave of drowsiness will just much like a camera's ability to focus, <laughs> my mind, my mind will lose its ability to focus on a conversation or thought. And it doesn't happen gradually like it normally would. It happens immediately. So at 8.30, I'll be feeling fine. And then at 8.31, I'll be like, oh, you have to take me to my bed. And I'll see you wake up at like 3.30 in the morning and can't go back to sleep. This morning was one of those five cupcakes and two cups of coffee for breakfast kind of mornings. Oh well. 259 calories for one small blueberry muffin. What do they put inside this thing? Sin? Oh, I took, I took yesterday off from running. I try to take one day off a week, every week from running, usually Saturday. You need to let the body recharge a bit. So today, oh my God, it's cold right now. Today I think I'm gonna go for an hour. Because it's cold and I always start really, really, really slow. Super chill and then as I get warmer and warmer and warmer, if I'm feeling good, I'll, I'll build into it. So maybe an hour, maybe 70 minutes if I'm feeling sparky. But this next week, Still not gonna do too much. I'll just do maybe an hour every day. No more than that. The following week, I can start adding workouts up. Workouts back in. All right, that's cold. I gotta put the camera away. Bye. I am cursed with this sunglass case holder. I always lose them. Never lose the sunglasses. Just this, the soft case that protects them. So they've been keeping you in. There it is. Good thing it's this crazy, crazy color. Thank you, Maui Jim. All right, in you go. Oh, hello there. What a coincidence you guys are right here. Because this was my second job. That's right. I was a young strapping lifeguard. It was a good gig. I, uh, I remember I was super happy to get the job because, because it paid much better than my first job, which was a cashier. I think the, ca the cashier paid like six, six dollars an hour and the lifeguard gig, I wanna say 10 or 12 an hour. I'm not sure. But for a 16 year old kid, it was awesome. So it's like you're at a 640 pace. Outside of the battery on my camera died, it froze, and I'm having a good hair day. All right, mom, it's New Year's Eve. What are we doing? We're going to get a chair. <laughs> yeah, we are. It's a recliner. What do you think about that, Poppy? You want to go get a recliner? Poppy's like, I have a soul. <laughs> Remember when I said it was so cold, my camera battery died? Snow, ice, oh. frost.
I thought for a second that the car, because it's a Prius, wouldn't let me drive with the trunk open. Because I tried to put it in drive and I was like, mm mm. So this would be a good time to talk about Highland Park. It's a small suburb in Dallas, very affluent. Um, they have two police forces, in addition to the Dallas Police Force. They have a pension for speed, giving away speeding tickets and for making sure things, how do we say that? Abide by the standards of the district. So we don't get pulled over, I'm driving down the side roads. So we can quickly kind of, or we can sneakily get over to the, the Dallas part. So we basically have to go down these streets, we cross over this one big street, and then we're in Dallas proper. And the Dallas police aren't gonna care about us driving around with a chair and our trunk halfway open. Say hello, New Year's Eve! Happy New Year's! Year's. I'm only working for like one or two hours because I gotta hang out with my mom tonight. So it's six o'clock right now. I have been Ubering, I've been Ubering for the last, for the last few hours. It's been slightly profitable. I've made like 50 bucks, met some people, been talking, speaking English, which is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna see if this next person uh, wants to be on the vlog. Uh, it is almost eight, so New Year's is in four hours. This building, this tall one right there, that's where I got braces. I had them for seven months. So because I am a professional, Professional, I actually forgot to ask my Uber passengers if I could uh, film them for the vlog. There are two very nice young ladies. Um, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Because it's New Year's Day, there's one special food that everybody must eat so that they have a wonderful year filled with good luck. It is, of course, black eyed peas. I'm not sure how or why black eyed peas bring you good luck, but I got a bag of them, so. Okay, happy New Year's to everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful 2018. It's full of luck and joy and happiness. Love you guys, bye. Uh, false alarm, I went home for the evening and ended the vlog, but then my mom and I decided we wanted to get pizza. So I'm here at Olivella's. And they closed right now, they closed already, but they took this last order. Hello, happy New Year's. Cool. I think there was like margarita pizza, two salads, Nutella mousse. Happy New Year's! Vlog over. It has to stay like that all night because it's freezing out. And if you don't run the water all night, the pipes could freeze.